Hello everybody, welcome to episode 10 of the Tamagotchi Afterlife. So, we've got some fancy, fancy, fancy news here today. So first off, I guess let's show off this is a devil, because why not? It has evolved into this cool little jester dude. Look at him. Oh, I love him. Love little animations and everything. He's so excited and happy to be here. And with the evolution of the devil dude, we've actually got a bunch of DP events. So now, instead of us struggling at like 50, it finally happened and we got a bunch of them in a row. And like, I do keep up with these guys like very often. So I was very happy to see that like, just that we got stuff out of them finally. <laughs> Because, like, for a while there, I did all the DP events, but, like, we'd be stuck at 50 because, like, weirdly it kept rising randomly. So it's so nice to finally be at zero. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad about that. I'm super excited. Did accidentally get one care mistake with him, so sorry about that, y'all. But it doesn't matter too much. We still have the adult stage and stuff like that. So we still have chances. So don't worry. We still got time. We always have the one mandatory evolution. So woo! And then on the angel, we are actually at the final true stage here. Let's go clear off that poop, though. So you remember the last run we messed up and couldn't get this character. But in this run, we actually managed to do this and actually get that character again. So I actually did this so that we wouldn't actually have to repeat a run. We might have to see this guy again, too, actually, because we'll see one more adult character. Which is fine by me. But I didn't want to sit there and repeat a whole entire run again with the good path, so I decided to take a bad path that went to good path. So we have these two angels, um, I think it's like Fuwagachi or something, oh man, I forget its name, but it's the twin angel, so basically it's like you get these two little angel dudes. I wonder how this works, like, personally, like, is it just like one brain that got, like, split into, like, two brains or something like that? Is this like a Chucky situation with, like, Glenn and Glinda? I don't know. It's just something cool. Do love the look of these guys. They're very interesting and cool looking. We will keep up with them for about a few days at least. I could horribly treat them and like get the whole devil character, but I'm not going to do that with the good path because I think that'd actually be pretty hard to do. So we're going to sit down and just like let the two days or so. Yeah, because I think it's two days or whatever. And then you can start to sit down and let them die or whatever to get that whole like thanks screen, which is good by me because I'll sit down and do that. And then after that, we'll go down a cool little bad path evolution. So that'll be the exciting part. We're going to start messing around with some bad evolutions after this. So it's pretty exciting. We don't have too many paths to actually go down with the angel. So it'll be pretty sad. But I figured, uh, what is it? We'll do probably like two more pathways. And then we'll probably take out the batteries in this one and swap it over to the white one if we still have a lot of time. Mostly because I want to show off the different icons on the white one, if that's possible. So, yeah, that is a fun fact between these two versions, is that uh, both these actually have different icons. Like, one's from an early production run and one's from a later production run. I kind of forget how they did these. It's very hard to remember how they were done. I think the older one is done from an older production run. And then this one right here is done from the newer one. I don't know, I kind of forget. But yeah, these two actually have different icons. So, like, how the devil got you has its own, like, fancy icons on its little screen. If you, like, you go through all of its fancy icons. Pretty cool stuff. The, one of the versions of the angel does actually have that, too. So, you got one that takes, like, the sprite design from the P1 and P2, which I think they did that on purpose to just save money. So, I think this will be the later one. This could be the first revision, too. I kind of forget how it works, but there is a special, like, other revision with its own, like, special designs on it. Instead of the weird, like, ripped off the P1 and P2. Which, to be honest, is just probably Bandai saving money, because, if you probably know, a lot of P1s and P2s exist out in the world. Especially nowadays with the remake. But, uh, especially in the, like, 90s era, where you did probably have, like, hundreds of P1s and P2s. And uh, probably at some point, they probably overproduced them, and then they were just like, oh, well, let's reuse these screens again. Which, to be honest, makes sense. I, it's okay. I don't blame them for reusing the screens. But yeah, we do have actually the other version of that, so maybe we'll show that off at some point. Probably after that one weird ev evolution or something like that, I don't know. It's hard to say. 
But I'll probably do that at some point just to show off all the like cool little sprite design and everything. But I'm super excited to have these all these wonderful Tomas here. They are doing pretty well. Doing a really good job now at this point. I actually understand concepts and everything. So we now know how to do everything with the wonderful angel and devil. So we'll be basically, there's no more evolutions at this point with this guy. We might get the, no we don't, we won't get Uchi-kun, huh? Um, don't know if we'll get Uchi Kun or not from this evolution pathway or not yet. I don't know if, uh, I need to look into how you get him, actually. I'm trying not to show my thumb either, because I got a wonderful, weird, uh, I forget what they call him. But, like, I had a pole, like, collapse, like, pinch my thumb, so it looks very weird. <laughs> but I'm not going to try showing that off. But, uh, there is, I don't know if we get a chance to do the lucky Uchi Kun or not. So there's, like two more sets of evolutions or whatever that you can possibly get. They're like death screens, basically. Like the Gudetama has, like, the whole evolution death screen type thing. But, uh, there's, like, the Uchi-kun, and then if you mess up real badly, you get the Devil. So, that is a fun little thing you can actually sit down and do. So, we can sit down and try that out later. Don't know if we can do it on this one, because this is the pure good pathway. So, who knows if we are able to sit down and get all that fun out of them especially since we didn't get these uh, guys the last time on evolution so don't know how it'll work out for us but for right now that's pretty much it for the angel but we'll stick up with it for like the next few days so that we can get the easy way out of it and then we got the devil here he's doing pretty good he still has a long way to go though so we'll keep on raising him and that's pretty much it yep so Ooh, I don't know if I showed off his little weird animation. So, yeah, there's his little play animation, by the way. Unlike the other ones where they just, like, slid back and forth or whatever. This one actually has, like, a full-on, like... Oh. Don't know why my camera fell there. But there you go, I love that little animation. <laughs> I don't know, it's just very funny to me. But that's pretty much it for now. Sorry for the late episode. Um, what was it? I had to... Oh, no, I didn't have any take to do. I just fell asleep early. It happens times. And to be honest, enjoy sleep. Sleep is a wonderful thing. I've learned it now in my life. That you should always enjoy sleep when you can. So do that. But that's pretty much it for now. Thank y'all for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye bye bye. Woohoo!